snouted bonnet, head-turning looks, and a V8 engine. We've been here a couple of times in recent years with a Mercedes-Benz supercar, but if the SLR McLaren and SLS Gullwing had their disappointing aspects, the AMG GTS is much worthier of a keen driver's affections. <laughs> absolute blunderbuss of a two-seater sports car. It is absolutely brutal. It's big, it's brawny, it's brash. It's just forward in everything it does. It oozes menace, and as soon as you start that four-liter V8, man, it sounds fantastic. Now, turbochargers have been guilty of muffling the sound of modern-day performance cars, but that's not the case here. There are two of them nestled between the banks of the four litre V8 up ahead and what we've just put into Sport Plus mode. Open up that exhaust. Whoa. There's an epic sound as 375 kilowatts are fired to the rear wheel via a seven speed dual clutch transaxial auto. The result, as our judges found, is ferocious performance. What a rocket ship of an engine in the front of that car. It's got that overt design that just demands to be noticed. If you hate your neighbours, buy an AMG GTS. It's loud to look at, you start it up, it just all hell breaks loose, it's thunder. It's, uh, it's deliberately designed to smack you in the face whether you're in it or watching it drive past. Eyebrows are less likely to be raised at the GTS's 295 grand price tag, as that's considerably more attainable, relatively speaking, than the half million dollar SLS it indirectly replaces. It sounds a million dollars and it doesn't cost a million dollars, so if you're in the market for something that goes like the clappers and looks fantastic, why wouldn't you get it? It shares some of its aluminium structure and components with that car, though inside is a better executed supercar interior one complete with a superbly cosseting and low-slung driving position. There are many, many buttons to push inside of that car, inside its beautifully made cabin, that can change the character of it for different tasks. You can make it the loudest drunk in the room simply by pressing a button. And you know, some people are going to love that. The people who buy that car aren't buying it to be understated and, and minimalist. They're buying it because they want to stand out. And in terms of delivering and hitting those sports car marks, the AMG GT, it's, it's rock star, it wins. You'll just turn fewer heads when getting in and out, as access to the cabin is via doors that open conventionally. The AMG GTS, however, doesn't need fancy gullwing doors to be an uplifting experience. This is a Mercedes that proves that Porsche isn't the only player in Stuttgart that knows how to produce a seriously good sports car.